binary search. Linear search is a useful technique for searching small lists. However, it proves inefficient for searching a solution for large lists. An alternate solution that offers better efficiency for large lists is the binary search algorithm. To apply the binary search algorithm, you should ensure that the list to be searched is sorted. If the list to be searched is not sorted, it needs to be sorted before binary search can be applied to it. Let us take an example where you need to search the record of a student named John from the given list of student records stored in an array. The student names are stored in alphabetical order. As the list is alphabetically sorted, the binary search technique will be the best option to search the given data. For this list, the lower bound is zero and the upper bound is nine. To implement binary search, divide the list into two equal halves by obtaining the index of the middle element. For this, you need to divide the sum of the lower bound and upper bound by two. Since the index of the middle element comes out to be four, the middle element is Lena. Now there can be three possible conditions. The element to be searched is equal to the middle element. If this condition holds true, the desired element is found at the middle index of the array. The element to be searched is less than the middle element. If this condition holds true, you need to search the item towards the left of the middle element. The element to be searched is greater than the middle element. If this condition holds true, you need to search the element towards the right of the middle element, since the element at index 4 is Lena and J comes before L. We will search the record of John in the upper left part of the list. Again, we need to find the middle element in the leftmost list. Here, the lower bound is equal to zero and the upper bound is equal to three. The middle element comes out to be at index one. The element at this index is Brian. Since J comes after B, we will search the record of John in the right part of the list. Again, we will find the middle element in the rightmost list. Here, the lower bound is equal to 2, and the upper bound is equal to 3. The index of the middle element is 2. The element at index 2 is John, which is the desired element. Therefore, the element is found at index 2 in the given list.